take over the UN equipment and UN soldiers. And that's how they're going to travel around in our realm because they need vehicles suitable for our atmosphere and for our realm. I mean, think about it. They have, they have transportation suitable for the fourth dimension. And so they will be taking over, uh, human, mankind transportation, something that's suitable in the third, third dimension. Because the fourth dimension and third dimension are going to combine. They're going to merge. There's no longer going to be a difference between the fourth and third dimensions. They're going to be one dimension. And, of course, the New Age Ascended Masters want you to think it's going to be this fifth dimension, which is going to be a heavenly bliss on Earth. Uh, but it's a bunch of garbage. It's not going to be a fifth dimension. They're going to end up blowing up our atmosphere with all their chemicals they're pumping here to turn it into a fifth dimension, all this dead orgone that they're blasting in our ears with their chemtrails. They're going to end up blowing up our atmosphere with them. Uh, and so... <laughs> There is no, going to be no fifth dimension, no return of Garden of Eden, and you'll see the Illuminati, this is one of their plans, to return Earth uh, to a civilization comparable to what the Garden of Eden was like. Simply because uh, the atmosphere is heavy, uh, these alien demonic beings have a hard time breathing here and living here, and so they're trying to change it, the atmosphere back and thin the air out uh, to make it easier for them to breathe here and live here and survive here as themselves. Uh, which is why they have human bodies now, because uh, not only would they be rejected and, and be chaos on earth if they revealed themselves as who they are on our streets, uh, they need the human bodies to survive here. Uh, but eventually that veil is going to be lifted, the veil that separates the third and the fourth dimensions, and they're going to just going to be here with us. It's going to be a, a Star Wars bar scene on earth, where everybody's just mingling together. And that's what all these commercials on television are conditioning you for. Getting you conditioned to working with an office full of jackasses. <laughs> That's literally what it would be. Getting you conditioned to working with, you know, different types of species, different types of beings. It's all part of the conditioning process, folks. Uh, and so, I don't know, I don't think Planet X will be here this year. I think there's going to be more wars. We're not going anywhere with Iran. Uh, either we bomb Iran... And we switch into a different facet of uh, the, the coming timelines that I've seen that are going to happen. Or Matri arrives and blasts everybody else to hell. So, you tell us, you know, somebody come up with a grin, which one's better for anybody? There really isn't. <laughs> I mean, either we go and we bomb Iran and, and Israel gets involved. Um, and this is another huge war over there in the Middle East. And, of course, Iran will retaliate. Hitting most of American cities with nuclear bombs. Of course, I've seen that in 2009. So I'm not sure that would be sped up for 2007. But I'm a nobody, folks. They could easily. The Lord can just, with his pinky, speed up a timeline. Speed up time. And so, uh, yeah, we could, we could see bombs in, in America in 2007. Uh, no doubt about that. We could also see a lot of terrorist activities taking place in 2007. Because they're going to be fighting against this ascended master faction of the New Age. This whole Sananda and Germain and Matron, and all, they all work together. They're all pots out of the same hell. Uh, and so, they're trying to overthrow America's government. And America's government is uh, run by faction one of the New World Order and two of these, these uh, Satanist Illuminati children. Who don't want to give up their human control of it, their human aspect power of it. You know, uh, and so it's going to be a fight between the secret societies, the bankers, and the aliens. And somehow, there's just billions of people on the sidelines just watching all this take, you know, all this go down, all this, you know, take place. Meanwhile, they're trying to instigate famines on the earth, trying real hard to instigate famines, folks. Uh, and that's why we're getting the Oregon across the country because Oregon will fight their famine attempts. We're trying to save the breadbasket of America as much as we can uh, with the Oregon because Oregon is a natural healer. Uh, it will heal the ground. It will fight against the high-tech weapons that are being used, blasting away at our farmers' crops so that the molecular structure will be changed. The crops won't grow. They have more, more strategies and attacks than, than you can imagine, folks. And so behind the scenes, we're working against doing what we can, you know. Uh, but the time is coming when, when there's just, time's gonna be out. That's gonna be it. And so you have until now, until whenever. 
to do what it is you're calling, what you're sent here on earth to do. The Lord has a call and a reason for all of his people. Uh, you have your lifetime to figure out what that is from him and fulfill it. And to do it. And you know what? Your rewards in heaven based on eternity are, are based on what you do for him. The fruit you produce for him. Not uh, sitting on your butt every day watching TV. Uh, playing at your MySpace website. Whatever it is you're doing. Do something for him. Get involved. Uh, with Faction 4, with the Oregon Warriors, and get involved with the Faction 4 Warriors. Uh, or find out what it is the Lord wanted you to do, what you're born here to do, and, and, and get busy. Get busy. Alright folks, I'm going to wrap it up for this week's show. Uh, if you have any questions during the week, email me at cherrytalkradio.com, at yahoo.com, and I'll get your question on the air, answer your questions on the air. Uh, I'm just going to play the shows week by week. Uh, whatever the Lord, whatever it is He wants me to reveal, is what I will be talking about coming to the forefront because I'll sit here for days and work on material that I want to go over for my show, His show, and then I don't even get to it because He wants me to talk about something else. And that's what this is about. This is this is His His channel, His form, His way of talking, being able to talk to His people. And I'm just a mere servant. I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm not, I'm just a servant. Um, and so I can, I can say what it is he wants me to say. Uh, and that's all the, you know, that's all I can do. That's all I, I, there's nothing about me, folks. It's just about him. Uh, so I, I, I do encourage everybody, though, to get into Joel chapter 2, Revelation chapter 9. Uh, get to my website, backtoyahweh.com. Uh, so you can uh, get back into learning on why the feasts are so important. And here's another thing I want to bring up before I end the show. Uh, it might just blow a lot of you away too, but I wanted to bring this up. I'm glad he's bringing it to my mind because I, I just about forgot. Uh, so many of you think that we're adopting a Jewish custom, a Jewish religion, because we're Israelites. You know, the Israel of the Lord. Uh, adopted would become part of Judah, the Jews of that day. Uh, there wasn't a separate religion, a separate people. There was just factions within them. Uh, the Jews that had accepted Yahushua as the Messiah were known as the, the Essenes. Uh, there are various groups, the Essenes, the Ebionites, the Nazarenes. But these were all sects within the Jews. And this was the same Jewish, uh, you know, grandkids, kids of kids, generations, that had come out of Egypt as slaves. And most people don't realize today that the same people that were the slaves in Egypt are the same people in Europe and America today. And so you're not taking on some strange new religious custom of people you don't know. People you're just kind of adopting because you love the Lord and they seem to have loved the Lord and, and you just want to be with the Lord's people. But that was your people, folks. You are Israel. We are Israel. If you, if you look at, I'm not talking about replacement theology where the church has replaced the Jews. I'm not talking about any of that. If you look at the people in Egypt that were slaves... It was not a, a dark, Khazar, fake Jew race that dominates Israel today. If you look at Europe and you look at the nations of Germany and France and Ireland and Scotland and Britain, which we are descendants of here in America, they were the 12 tribes of Israel. They were the ones, their ancestors of ancestors of ancestors,